welcome and good morning in next simulation we are going to find relation between rms value and average value for an ac source to do that let us go to file and get a new simulation window go to file go to new select model or use the shortcut control n control n is the shortcut for creating a new window in this class we will see the relation between rms and average rms and average value for ac to verify that let us go and get our components here we require ac voltage source not ac current source you must select ac voltage source now let us add old ac voltage source to our block the next thing we require is resistor let us add a resistor to our block next measurement you need voltage measurement and current measurement now let us rotate the block use the shortcut control r change the branch type to r and assign the value as 10 and let us assign the input as the peak amplitude is 200 phase delay is 0 frequency is 50 Initially, all the AC voltage source in MATLAB, it will have the frequency as 60, change it into 50. After changing the value, click apply and then press OK. Next, now let us connect the sources. The next thing we require is for AC you need scope. There is no use of display. And hence go on to get your scope. Now all is set. Now let us change the simulation run time to 0.02. Set the simulation run time to 0.02 and simulate your circuit. I 
and now you can see that this is the current and voltage scope will give you the current waveform and scope 2 will give you the OTP. Now let us see what if I change the simulation runtime. Now I am changing the simulation runtime to 0.04. Again run the simulation. Now, now as we have increased the simulation runtime we are getting two cycle, two complete cycle over the resistor. Now let us check change to one and let us see what is about. Now I am having a number of AC waveform. And when I increase this time period, the cycle will increase. Now let us again go back to Time period 0 2. The problem with scope is it will give you the pictorial representation from this you have to get the mathematical value. The other way to get your mathematical value is by using your display. Now let us go and get our display block. Now you can see that when I simulate the circuit in the display, I get negative value because it is an alternating parameter. And hence, to measure this alternative parameter, I should need RMS block and average block. Now let us clean. You have to go to library browser. Go to SIM power system, go to specialized technology. In specialized technology, go to control and measurements. In control and measurements, go to measurement. To find the average value, you have to use mean and to find the RMS, that is root mean square value, you need to add RMS black to our source. After adding these two, minimize your screen. This is for your current. This is for our voltage and this is for the unwanted blocks can be deleted by selecting the block and press delete. Mean, control C, control V. The next thing we need is display. After connecting the blocks, let us simulate. 
set the runtime to 0 0.02 and simulate your butter. Now you can see that the RMS current is 1.47 but the mean value is 0. The average value is 0. And you can see in the scope you can see that the current wave. And this is our voltage waveform. And our voltage peak value is 200. But our RMS value is 147. This is the difference. This is peak value 200. This is RMS value that is 147. And this is average value. Our average value is 0. This is the different three different values we are having in ACD. And you can see that the source and load they are having the same RMS voltage. And again, you can verify this formula mathematically by using the relation between VRMS and VP. VRMS equal to 0.707 into VP and V average is equal to 0.638 into VP. Thank you.